Hey, welcome to our creating records piece of our quick start. We're so happy you're here and we're hoping you've been following along. If you haven't, um, this is part of a series. Um, it's part of a playlist and there's a link somewhere for, for you to click uh, to go to the beginning. Um, but if, if you're kind of just joining us here and you want to stay here, that's totally fine. Uh, to recap, we've actually created a database on Zeta. We've built a to-do app on it. We have the ability now to read to-dos, to mark them as done and to delete them. We forgot how to, we, we don't have a way to add them. <laughs> so in this video, we'll create a little add to-do form and we'll actually insert data and populate our list. So with that, um, let's come back. And so we have an empty to-do list because we deleted everything in the previous video. But let's fix that um, by creating a um, component. Um, let's, let's actually do it right here. So this is our to-do list. You can see the H1, my to-do list. So what we're gonna do is we'll do a div. Um, actually, we won't do a div. Divs are overused. We'll do a form. And a new to-do list, what does it need? It needs a label um, and it needs an input of type text placeholder. What's a good to do? Take out the trash. Oh, look, thanks, Copilot. Um, and we'll say this is the new to do label. Label, just like that. Um, and then we also need a button to submit it. Save. Wow, it's such a big form. Um, can we do Flexbox? I, I'm really into Flexbox. I, I, I love Flexbox. That's awesome. Let's do a gap. And then we'll call it. Um, MVP style. This looks good. Take out the trash. Okay, so now this exists. We need to actually save the to-do. But here, I want to add an on I want to add state to this form, and I want to have it like re-render on change of, of the input. But if I add state here, this whole component tree is going to re-render all the time. Um, and if I have like some 100 to-do items here, all those elements are going to re-render just because my form needs to re- that doesn't make any sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to factor out this form. Um, and, and have it be its own little thing. That is the React way. Okay, so um, let's take this form and cut it and we'll make a new component. We'll do components slash add to do form.tsx. Now, we will export, wow, so much real estate. We'll export const um, add to do form, right? Um, and we'll return what we just cut. Nice. So now let's add some state um, label. Ooh, was that copilot? Awesome. Use state, we have to import that and then we'll just bind it. So value is label. On change, we'll set the, tar the state. Set label to e.target.value. Okay, so now it's stateful, great. Um, we just need to make this work. I think that's not too hard, given that we already do some fetches here. This is MVP style. Look, in, in, in a real world app, by the way, you're probably gonna wanna like, um, refact, like copy the headers out and make this a lot more reusable. You're a great engineer. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Um, but for now, we're just being a bit, you know, MVP style. Um, okay, so on, on save, what do we want to do? We want to actually, not on click of that, but on submit of this, uh, first thing, we prevent the default behavior because otherwise it's going to take us to a different page or the same page. And then we'll send. What does send do? Let's do that. So. Send does this, but instead of do to do, it's add to do. Um, we don't have stuff, except we do have a label, and that's what we will do. We'll send the label. Looks good. And then it'll reload the whole window um, to add the new to do. This looks actually pretty good, so let's save that. Um, let's save that, and then realize we forgot to import the form. So we'll import the form right here. Look at that, it's back. Now if I click save, it's gonna, yeah, nothing's gonna happen, awesome. Um, let's make an API route for add to do. We can actually just copy our update to do and paste it here. Um, great. And now if we do items instead of update, we do dot create. Um, and instead of ID is done, we get label from the request. That's what we're sending. If I remember correctly, add to do form, um, we are sending a label. Exactly. So save. Um, and this is going to add, create a new thing with this label and it's going to, res.n come back. So let's try this now. Um, take out the trash. I'm going to say make a quick start guide. Very meta. Uh, save. Ooh, eat food. Ooh. So there we go. We're inserting stuff into Zeta. We come here. We see it actually updates. Um, check it. It works. Ooh, we have a full CRUD application. 
it just works. And it's maybe a bit big and chunky in terms of UI, but it works. Uh, but let's not stop there. Let's refactor a little bit because here, look, we are doing something. We are instantiating a new Zara client everywhere and delete to do in, in, in all these places. Let's not do that. And let's just reuse this once. So let's go find new Zara client, wherever that is. Um, index. Okay, we, we don't need this. We don't need this. Let's just clean. Let's clean house. So we have it only here now. Um, in fact, look, this is our util slash zata.ts. It's automatically generated and it exports a const get zata client. So instead of all of what we've been doing, um, we can just call that. So we'll say here const zata equals get zata client, just like this. Okay. Um, and we'll do the same everywhere. So of course we import it. We can remove the unused imports just as a really nice practice. This is the way. So now um, we just do get Zata client. We can either call it directly like this or you know do by assigning it, it's up to you. Um, don't let me tell you how to live your life. Get Zata client, just like that. And we'll save all, reload. And our CRUD app is a little bit less redundant while still working. Does it working? Does it work? Enter. Oh yeah, it does. So there you have it. It's a full CRUD guide on building a to-do app with Zeta. What's next? Next, you talk to us on Discord or Twitter at Zata. Um, Discord, there's a link somewhere. Um, this should probably be enough for you to go build something. Um, if you want, there's more content coming, if not already here. Um, we're going to teach you how to add basic authentication to, to your to-do list. So you can have a to-do list with different people's accounts. Um, they can log in and stuff because authentication is a big part of applications. Uh, but for now, that's been it for the quick start guide so far. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. All right. Peace.